Hello Deggies, welcome back to the channel. This is the second video of this series and the last video I have created a video on how you can download the data, employee data, simple data and we had an Oracle system and how we imported the data. Now we are going to learn in this video how to do data validation. This is this video is going to be table to table validation. So let's get started with the video. So here we have uh, as we discuss here we have two different schema this is cot schema where we have employees data and this is bi schema which is employees data again so if i do a simple uh, shortcut this is control enter i'll get this data and let me close this and then do a control enter i'll again get this data so this is how the data will come up and if i close this i'll run this particular i can select and run here again i'll get the same result or I will come anywhere in this query and just to control enter, I'll get the same result. So these are some of the shortcuts that can be used in dViewer. So dViewer is the application we are using. So here, let's do uh, our validations. Validations uh, will do our ETL testing validations. Okay, this is where we start. So double hyphen becomes a comment which will not be executed so here we have ETL testing validations so ETL testing big data testing or anything so the first validation the first validation is count check okay so count check and then let's write down second will be uh, null check then third validation will be duplicate duplicate check and then fourth validation can be data validation okay for this i'm taking simple data and uh, when you work on any project it will be a complex data really difficult data a lot of complexities a lot of transformations will be there so according to that you have to just change your sql queries so this will be pretty easy you can watch my sql series the whole uh, series which i have around solved more than 100 questions and uh, you can watch that and i am also creating a um, series of sql where you can learn sql uh, within a few days you can learn sql and you can master that so let's start with the first one okay uh, first is count check count check let's do okay uh, i am writing everything in caps select count star from see here i'll take this scott for employees i'll take this yeah. okay same query select count star from bi dot employees so let's take this as uh, the source table scott and bi bi is mostly uh, comes in the next stage of ETL testing. So we yeah, let's take, take it as target. So this is target and this is um, source. Okay. So uh, let's run this. So we have count is here count is 50. And when I run this here also count is 50. Okay. So according to our validation both are correct the source count and target count is matching so to make it simple let me make write a better query for you to make you feel like a better sql genius union uh, let me write this as source okay and write this as target this is nothing we are just printing this particular word here or sentence or whatever you can call it as since it is in single quote so no worries it will just print this value so i will run this this whole query since i don't have a semicolon here so these two this whole thing is a single query i'll just select this and run it here or i can come here and come here and just do a control enter in anywhere around this whole query okay you see source 50 target 50 that means our validation is perfect so this is verified awesome both count was 50 count count equal to 50 awesome perfect so null check null check is going to happen only in the target database 
not in the source database source can have null value the target should not have null values obviously here i have not applied any transformation i have not done any developer's job but i'm only uh, just uh, taken data just taken csv file downloaded from internet and just taken those data so anyway i might have nulls not nulls but see let's see uh, but we are on, only going to do in where only the target so select star from uh, where this bi.employees i'll take okay select star from this where where um, let's see what all columns we have what we can do to see only the column names one equal to two okay i just need the column names i could have done dsc same this also i could have done okay. describe describe this one also Describe desk is not working in baby over. This should work. This should work. And if I open or it will command prompt, obviously it will work. Right. No problem. No problem. We can anyway. Right. I just wanted to have the column names. Uh, select star from where employee ID should not be null. Is null. I am writing as it should be null. If it is null means my thought process is it should not be null but if it is null then there is a problem right so that's how my query is okay select star from this table where employee ID is null means basically in this particular query i want the output as zero zero records okay and what uh, even first name should not be null or uh, first name is null or last name is null or email is null and work number is null once left put or okay so if you see i ran this query let me close this so if you see i ran this query so what am I getting? I'm not getting any results. That means my query is successful. This is verified. Perfect. Amazing. So for now, I have just taken these four columns. You can also take um, or higher date is null or job ID is null. So basically, it will give. Uh, uh, let me just do select star and see. Uh, if you see commission pct or manager id here we have nulls we should not be having nulls uh, these are not nulls there is these are hyphens only yeah yes uh, eventually there is no null values but if if in case i have null values then this is a bug so let me do let me leave it to this here i don't see any null values here but what i can do is update bi dot employees set manager id set manager id ID is null. Awesome. See, even manager ID should not be null, but <laughs> I wanted to made it null and then I'm getting a result. So this means so just forget this query for now. Let's focus on this. So if you see according to my requirement, these columns should not have null values. Okay. Obviously, you will get the requirement details, you will get the uh, source target mapping document, all these details you will get it. So what you have to do is, uh, you uh, according to your requirement, you wrote this particular query. So now when you wrote this particular query, manager ID is null. So what happens is when you come here, this is normal, this is normal, this is fine, 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 fine. But when you come here, manager ID is null. So that means manager ID is null. So what you do is, you create a bug stating 
mentioning your query then you keep a screenshot of this particular output that this particular value is coming out to be null so they will create a, a separate pipeline they will alter the data they'll write their codes the developer will write their codes properly so as to fix this particular issue and then you can do a retesting so this was a bug that you could have easily unlocked okay so i just created this bug wantedly uh, obviously we can okay uh, we let's change this again let's change manual id to something one more one okay okay now this will not give me anything perfect awesome here now let's do duplicate check let's close this okay duplicate check select the employee Hmm. on which we are doing obviously it will be always be the target duplicate check is happening on target system select employee id comma count of star group by employee id having count count of star greater than 1 so if you see i am not having any duplicates so uh, i i have explained this duplicate query in my sql series you can go watch that but i'll try to explain so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to group by employee id so employee id is a unique value it's a primary key so on top of primary key i'm trying to group and see if there is any um, employee which has the same employee id okay so i'm trying to find a duplicate value in this so this is a duplicate check okay let's do the fine data validation okay the final data validation is the minus query okay so from here itself i'll take this query but here i'm doing union and so let's run this query again so this is union and uh, what am i trying to do is i'll try minus okay let me get rid of this and this also let only the count Okay, but I have to um, uh, enter all the column names. I can write star because in my scenario, it is the data is the same. But in your scenario, see what is happening is a manager ID hundred uh, minus this minus this, uh, which is source minus target. Okay, let's do ulta also. This is source minus target. and let's write the same thing as target target minus source okay here i will mention pi and here i will mention scott so the answer is the same so this is basically it, it is doing this data minus this data so whatever answer i am getting is actually this data okay and here so what should i do is uh, to validate what is the missing value for now we know that manager id is a difference but <laughs> since i updated the manager id but actually what we the approach of debugging which value is not matching so basically let's take employee id 122 the answer is 122 see in this let me close this so if you see in this source minus target i get what employee id 122 okay i do target i will close this i do this target minus close also getting 122 so let's do what select star from scott dot employees where employee id equal to 122 here i copy the number i do so this is debugging part for testers okay this is the debugging this is where you become a better uh, tester okay so this is the debugging part select star from spot uh, where employee id is equal to 122 so the same query i will write and write a union but here it is got right this is bi i run this so if you see uh, so there is a confusion right which one is on top so let's write source right as i see that's all okay and then i write here pgt just on it okay 
dot star equal to dot star let's do this okay uh, what is happening is I wrote uh, I gave a column name so this is considered as column name and actually I am passing a value which needs to be just shown so SRC uh, which is a column name and then I need to assign a alias name which I assigned it here and this is e, e okay so I can also give it as SRC make it more simple here SRC okay SRC here and TGT here this also okay let's run this query let's run this particular query so when you run this query what do you do is source this is source value see i want two two is matching uh if i am uh, i'm not sure the name of link whatever it is <laughs> it is matching and email is also matching phone number it is Matching higher date May 3003 okay matching job ID ST9 is matching salary is matching commission is matching manager ID is not matching and department is also matching so only manager ID which is not matching and this is a bug which you can raise so obviously this uh, bug is created by us but I am trying to explain how you can do a data validation so there can be multiple other validation that can be done so here we did uh, we started with a count check and then we did a null check and then we did a duplicate check and then did the uh, data validation and uh, this query can also be uh, made into a single query uh, using union all write the source minus target target minus source if you want me to explain in into detail how we can write better queries and uh, you can write more performance wise a uh, better query uh, so those kind of query related things you can ping me and uh, if you like the video please give a thumbs up to this video and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, a lot of people don't subscribe to my channel around 70 80 percent people don't subscribe to watch the videos if you're liking the videos i take a lot of effort to create these videos please subscribe to the channel and uh, do share with your friends and your uh, colleagues who are working with you in the testing uh, so do share it will be very helpful so that they can learn um, a lot of young testers who are into ETL data processing big data testing they don't easily learn all these queries and the way how to do data validation so I'm just creating these videos please do share and if you want to connect with me um, a one on one session or if you want to talk to me you can use the link in the description box and in the first comment also where I have shared the link where you can book a one on one session with me and also if you need any guide uh, any guidance regarding your career or if you are a student you want project related help or any kind of help you can uh, connect to me on LinkedIn and ask your doubts and you can also follow me on Instagram uh, Twitter and also uh, follow my uh, uh, telegram and whatsapp channel the link are in the description box so see you in the next video in the next video we are going to learn about how to do a file to file comparison and also excel comparison so stay tuned uh, see you in the next video bye bye